Russia has started its mandatory troop call-up to support its military campaign in Ukraine, with Moscow saying that at least 10,000 people have volunteered to join the forces to fight in 24 hours since the order, even as many have fled the country to escape the fight. Now, the partial military mobilization came as some Russian-held regions in Ukraine are now all set to vote on whether to become part of Russian referendums. During a TV address on Wednesday, Putin warned that he will use all means necessary to defend Russia. This has been seen by many around the world as Putin's nuclear, war, nuclear threat to the West. The mobilization also comes amid some recent setbacks for Russian forces. This as a renewed Ukrainian counter-offensive has now driven them from some key Ukrainian areas they previously had captured during the war. Ukrainian forces have now recaptured most of the northeastern Kharkiv region, which has been seen as a possible turning point in this months-long war. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky says that Russia's mobilization campaign is a sign of their army's collapse as the war entered every Russian home. Російське рішення про мобілізацію це відверте визнання, що їхня кадрова армія, яку десятиліттями готували до загарбання чужого, не витримала і посипалась. І тепер через мобілізацію війна Росії проти України для більшості громадян Росії це не щось там на ТБ чи в інтернеті, а те, що зайшло в кожний російський дім. Now, Putin's call for partial mobilization has been met with some protests, with thousands taking to the streets in various cities, including Moscow, to denounce the move by the Russian president. Many have decided to flee the country in an attempt to escape war. Finland, which shares a 300, pardon me, 1300 kilometer border with Russia has reported an increase in traffic overnight. Finland says it is considering barring most Russians from entering its territory. Long queues of vehicles seeking to enter Finland were seen near the borders on Thursday, as many Russians desperately waited for hours to flee the region. <laughs> No eilen illalla määrät lisääntyi ja tota, ne tuosta yön, yön yli niin jatku tähän päivälle, mutta nyt niin kuin nähdään, niin se on rauhoittunut. Se ei ole loppunut, mutta rauhoittunut toi liikenne. No Armenian capital of Yerevan has become another major destination for Russians fleeing. Georgia is also one of the neighboring countries that Russians can enter without needing to apply for a visa. Kremlin meanwhile has called for the reports of mass exodus and has said that they have been exaggerated. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.